Hello, Baby Bean and everybody on Baby Bean Storytime. My name is Grandma Cookie, and today I'm going to tell you a story. But first, I want you to grab your favorite stuffed animal, maybe your favorite blankie, and find your favorite reading spot. We're going to read the last book in Arthur's Family Values. This one is Arthur the Brave. It's about being brave. And we read about getting along with your siblings, sharing, and finding buried treasures and stuff and keeping promises. So this one is about being brave and Arthur the Brave. This bionic bunny show is so boring, D.W. groaned. He's amazing, said Arthur. I wish I could be just like him. Well, you're not, teased. D.W. I'll show her, thought Arthur, but I need to think of something brave to do. I've got it, yelled Arthur. What are you doing to Mom's good towel? asked D.W. Please call me Arthur the Brave, said Arthur. You're Arthur the Silly, D.W. giggled. Not funny, said Arthur. That afternoon, Arthur took a walk. Bring on the bad guys, he said. Bring on the danger. Arthur, what are you doing? asked Mrs. Turner, the librarian. Looks like trouble, sniffed Mr. Ratburn. They've never seen a real superhero before, thought Arthur. Later on, Arthur saw Grandma Thora trying to cross the street. I'll help her, he thought. Let me help you, Grandma, said Arthur. But Arthur said, Grandma Thora. Don't worry, he replied. It's safe to cross. When they got across, Grandma Thora was not happy. I really didn't need to cross the street, she sighed. I was waiting for Mrs. Tibble in the park. Sorry, said Arthur. On his way home, Arthur saw Buster and Sue Ellen. Help, cried Sue Ellen. Someone saved my kitty. At last, exclaimed Arthur, a real rescue. Stand back, everyone. I'll save you, kitty, called Arthur. Suddenly, the cat jumped from the tree into Sue Ellen's arms. I think I'm stuck, Arthur said. Don't worry, said Sue Ellen. Help is on the way. Hang on, Arthur, called Binky and Buster. Buster climbed up and untangled Arthur's cape. Thanks, said Arthur. He felt like he couldn't do anything right. I'll never be like the bionic bunny, thought Arthur that night. Just then he heard D.W. crying. Help, she cried. There are monsters under my bed. I used to be afraid of monsters when I was little, said Arthur. Then I learned a magic spell that got rid of them. Will you tell me, she asked. Okay, said Arthur. Here it is. Pat your tummy, wiggle your nose, tug your ears, and curl your toes. Now say the words as loud as you can. I'm just as brave as I think I am. D.W. said the spell three times. That's a pretty good spell, D.W. yawned. Even the bionic bunny could use it. I don't think you're Arthur the Silly anymore. Arthur smiled and 
quietly tiptoed out of her room. Back in his room, Arthur climbed into his bed. Sometimes just being a brother is even better than being a superhero. Then Arthur, the brave, fell fast asleep. Arthur, the brave, helped D.W. He discovered that he really was brave by just being her brother. Thank you for watching Baby Bean Storytime and join me in the last four weeks in Arthur's Family Values. Baby Bean, I have so much fun reading these books for you. I've got a little stuffed animal that I found that's an Arthur stuffed animal, a little sippy cup with little snack thing for you and stuff. I know I'm a little silly, but it's got to go with your Arthur books. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.